a lot going on then. Yeah. Like <laughs> yeah. With so much going on, how do you, as a football club, how do you plan for success? Well, I think it's important whether working for club or, or, or country, so obviously working within the organisation previously at the FA and three different clubs. I think it's really important to have a vision. Um, and so that's normally set by the board, but have something that is a vision, a target that people can aspire to and align to. Um, and then once you've got your vision, um, it's about setting a, a plan where everybody can feel part of that plan. Um, there's a great, great phrase, I'm going to try and get this right now, that um, a vision without a plan is just a dream. A plan without a vision is boring. So what, what I would say is that we try and try and bring together the two. So um, sustainable will bring in things like the academy, for example. So it's really important that we produce players from within the academy so they can feel connected to how that vision would work. Um, and then we can work with the rest of the departments, be it recruitment, first team, whoever it may be, to try and achieve, achieve that vision with some sort of strategic plan. And then how much does, it, does the success of the club depend on the performances on the on the pitch well i think there's a couple of different answers to that ollie um ultimately the success of any football club is driven by the first team results um and that could be men's or women's by the way but in the main uh, it's it's the men results simply because that's the bit at the moment in the current game that drives the revenues so for us to stay in the premier league for example any club to stay in the premier league is worth you know, a lot of money from TV and commercial rights. For us to get into the Champions League is worth a lot of money from TV and commercial rights. So in order to sustain and have the resources to drive your vision, the first team results are absolutely paramount. And that's more of a, a seasonal or medium to long term view. I think where clubs have to be careful is reacting to short term form or short term luck. So if you don't pick up a win for three or four games, the Premier League in particular can do that to you. So you just have to be a little bit careful that you don't react to short term results uh, as a sporting director, as a board, as an ownership, as supporters, and just concentrate a little bit more on the medium to long term. As you rightly say, there's always moments for every team that you have rocky periods and you don't quite hit the levels which your your vision or your expectation may, may, um, may have.